Hey, this is Akiva from Twisted Tree Farm. I'm out here in the woods and it's, uh, it's the middle of March. A lot of people are thinking about tapping sugar maples and it's uh, about that time of year to do it. Uh, I'm not going to talk exactly about the process of making syrup, but uh, just to look at the trees and how to identify them and know if you have uh, sugar maples. So um, all, all maples have opposite branching and uh, opposite branching just means that uh, wherever there's a branch on one side of a trunk, there's another branch on exactly opposite. And the same will carry uh, true for the buds on the twigs. So this is, uh, I'll, I'll look at that in a moment, but uh, this is a bark of a mature sugar maple. Uh, this tree's probably, uh, you know, 60, 70 years old. And uh, see these uh, plates of bark? They're actually quite stiff, and if you rub your hand over them, they don't flake off. If that was a red maple, you'd get all kinds of uh, bark chips flaking off. Um, and then a lot of times on sugar maple, you see this white lichen here? That's really, really common on sugar maple. Um, but the bark changes with age, and also uh, individuals. So here's a bark of a young sugar maple, and it's, uh, it's quite smooth. It's, it's uh, very smooth, but when you rub your hand on it, you can feel lots of little rough bumps. Um, but pretty much almost all of these trees are sugar maple. And we'll just take a look at a few different uh, shades of bark you might find in the woods. Um, so here's uh, sugar maple bark again. Uh, sometimes they'll, they'll do this at this young age. This tree's not big enough to tap. The general rule for the size of the tree you can tap is uh, if it's the same diameter as a five gallon bucket. Uh, and then it's big enough to tap. Uh, this is uh, black cherry, totally different bark, right? And see, actually I want to look at this tree right here. A lot of times when they're really vigorous, uh, you'll get uh, smooth bark even on bigger trees. Um, but this is again sugar maple. And if you're ever not sure, you can always look, look up at the crown and uh, follow the follow the crown or follow the trunk up to the crown and find some branches and see are they opposite? Are they alternate? And if they're opposite and you're in the northeast, then all you really have to make sure is that it's not an ash tree. And so you won't see opposite every time, but you'll see it some of the time. And the reason you won't see it every time is because branches break off or they get shaded out. But if you look close, there's always a knot there. Let's see if we can look closely at a sugar maple twig. There's some nice ones we can reach on this little sapling. So. Let's see if, I don't know if the camera will focus on this, it's very small. So let's see, let's see what I can do here. But uh, sugar maple twigs and buds, have a, they have a pointy bud. I don't know if I can get this to focus, it's pretty small. Hmm. Let's see, maybe if I hold it against my shirt there. So it's, it's pointy, it's dark. I can't tell what's showing up. There's a good glare in the camera. But it's a pointy, dark bud. And if you look closely, it's, it's beautiful. There's all kinds of scales and uh, leaf scars. I think sugar maple buds look like spaceships. I mean, they're just stacked, uh, pointy buds. And red maple buds are going to be blunt and quite red, where sugar maple buds are pointy and brown. But uh, the truth is, you can tap any any maple tree. You can tap uh, box elder, which is a kind of maple, ash leaf maple it's known as. Um, or you can tap Norway maples, you can tap sugar maples, you can tap red maples, you can tap silver maples. And they all have sweet sap that can be boiled down. But uh, sugar maple has the highest sugar content, so you might just be boiling a little longer. I think they all pretty much taste the same. Let's look at a couple more uh, sugar maple barks just to make sure you have the right tree. Um, here's sugar maple right here. And uh, these two also, these are really common, common looking barks. This is generally what they look like. And uh, if you rub your hand over it, you'll feel, it feels pretty solid, stout and uh, rough bark. But just a, a total amazing gift of the forest, sugar trees growing out here in the wild. Um, so I hope you tap your trees, and if you're not going to make syrup, that's fine. You can just tap your trees and drink the sap, and it's full of calcium and all kinds of minerals, and it's a great drink. In Korea, they call it the good-for-the-bones drink. So uh, thanks, Sugar Maple, for being out here. My God.